Welcome back to the Seven Deadly Sins Anime Review, episode number 71. We're here reviewing the 25th, uh, 20, 25th episode of The Seven Deadly Sins, The Four Knights of the Apocalypse, called Power of the King. Before we talk about the episode, this is a second attempt at doing this video because the last video I did of this thing, about three minutes in, my mic just died. So I have to stop, delete the recording, and start from scratch. So, let's talk about basically this episode again. This episode covered the rest of chapters 77, pages 720, the entirety of 78, seven, all but basically page 3, chapter 80, and pages 1 through 7, 1920 of chapter 81. After a two-minute recap, and if you take out the recap, which is two minutes, the opening title sequence, and the ending credits, the episode itself is, like, roughly about 20 minutes tops. So, after the two-minute recap, we have Arthur basically boasting how awesome, basically, that Camelot is. Like, oh... He would show what the, his palace looks like, which is a giant tower. And we're like, oh, I can bring all your families. Mention about the, the Holy War. Excuse me, first he sees his, like, grandpa. Of course, this is a reverse ver image of what was in the manga, which they, they anime, this anime has done that a few times, where the, the manga presents it in one direction, and the anime just, just flips it around. They do this for sometimes for some reason. I don't know why. So then, of course, Tristan, not liking that stuff, he decided to attack him. And then, of course, you have Milo's only full counter. And, and Wadhead's like, man, I, I wish hearing that, I, I miss hearing that music. And they brawl for quite a while. They go, like, all over the place. They destroy the, the steps that basically Arthur had made. They destroy part of a mountain. It's a big brawl. And Percival can't do anything but watch. Uh, Gwenin basically is on Donnie's back the whole time. On is basically watching this. Nosikins is watching this too. And eventually, they get him off the steps on the ground. And then, of course, he's about to use. Well, actually, first, basically, he's about to use a sword on Melanos, who's protecting his son, because he's going crazy. And then his sword blade breaks. And then he's knocked to the ground by Lancelot, who was brought there by Percival. Yep. And Lancelot actually holds his own against Arthur really well. Beats the crap out of him, causes him to bleed like crazy. And while Lancelot has, gets no damage at all, eventually the blade grows back. Like, oh, that's an interesting weapon. Oh, yeah, they also mentioned that the army, the Air Force army he has, it's a reminder of how naive he was when he was young. And it's powered by by chaos. And, and, by, and by the way, Melis mentioned this. I should have removed that 16 years ago. You should have never been host the chaos. So yeah, all these demons about, of course, Lancelot basically chase them all the way. And then, the airship shows up, and of course, Ironside basically says, Your Majesty, that's enough. We don't have... Now is not the right time to launch full scale assault on Leonis. And he's like, hmm, you got a good point there. And he, he says this while Arthur has got his... While Lance has got his arm inside of his chest. Yes. And then... They see images of, like, Bon, of King, Deanne, and Gother. It's brief images, but technically the way for Bon, this first time he's appeared in the series. And in case you're curious, though, does Bon actually make, play a role in the series? Not really, no. King and Deanne do. But Bon does not really do much anything except being mentioned a lot by... He, he does not do hardly much of anything at all. Not, not even his mom. His awesome mom basically does anything. So, and the whole thing of Deanne being the King Deanne being there, that's a tease for a future story arc when it comes to them. Mm hmm. Yep. Then, of course, everyone gets healed, clean up all the debris, and then, of course, Percival Scooper finds to spend a night in, of course, his castle. Oh, in the, in the Leona's palace. And Lancelot goes to see them to possibly, like, 
you know, go get something to eat. And, of course, he goes to the room, and they're all fast asleep. Of course, after all, basically saying, ooh, let's all go to the bathhouse, even I as a girl. <laughs> yeah. But, great episode overall. And finally, he's able to watch it. Finally. Do I think I might be able to watch it Sunday? Maybe. But, in because the fact that right now on Sunday, I have like six or I have like seven anime to watch. So, it's going to be a slight change in the lineup. So, starting with this coming Saturday, I'm going to be watching not only Case Closed, but also One Piece and My Hero Academia. This is so that, well, some of these other shows can continue on Saturdays for a bit, and, well, it frees up a little bit of Sunday, so I'm not doing about seven anime on Sunday. But, with this, basically, I have three more anime to go, and then I'm caught up. The next anime to go through will be Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest. Okay. But to use the next video. Uh. Bye.